Hello guys, today we're going to be looking at a fairly common tank skill, Overflowing Ulta. I'm just going to be going over some information about that, because people still now, in 2021, don't understand the details about how this skill works. So I'm going to quickly just go over that. Um, so the, the reason people use this skill is because it provides you with Minor Lifesteal. Now Minor Lifesteal heals you every second when you hit an enemy that's near the altar. So it's a nice way to kind of get extra heals for your group and it's very, very simple. You just place it down, it costs health, it stays there for a long duration and will provide a heal. It also has a synergy which you can use which will generate a ton of health as well. So this is really good for situations where your group are having to move and spread around, so something like Asylum Sanctorium. If you as the main tank place this down, when your group's kiting the Heavens mechanic, they will have the synergy available, so if they get hit and take damage, the synergy will be available for them to use it and heal themselves. And especially good because the healers are usually not too close to the group. So there are some very good situations where this should be used. We'll do a quick uh, demonstration. So, so when we place this down, it's got, it's got a huge range on it. So basically the enemy has to be within 28 meters of the altar. So we can put the altar really far away. It's still active on that precursor now, look. So Blood Ulta pretty much covers every single room in every single piece of content. So that's that's the limit. So there we go. So from here, we can still hit the Precursor. And we're getting a heal look. When we shoot the enemy from this far away, we're getting the Minor Life Steel heal. And we, can even, we could even potentially be further back than this. So the good thing is we can place altar here. So if we place it there. And then we go and stand. You don't have to be near the altar to get the benefit from it. The enemy needs to be near it. So we can come here. So as you can see, the altar is nowhere near the actual player. So I'm nowhere near it. I'm the other side of the room. And I can still get it no matter what. So even over here, look. If I hit the enemy from there, I'm getting the lifesteal heal. So it's an amazing skill for those situations because you can just place it pretty much anywhere in the room in any trial or dungeon or arena and it will activate on every enemy in that area. So you'll get that minor life steal constantly. Now there's two different morphs of um, altar. There's overflowing altar and the sanguine altar. Now the difference between the two. So overflowing altar increases the synergy effect of altar. The sanguine altar has an increased duration and reduced cost. So the cost goes down from 4,050 down to 2,160. The duration um, is extended. So it's 30 second duration and the duration gets increased on the other morph. The thing for me is I see a lot of people use Sanguine Ulta and I don't understand why because the Blood Ulta Synergy for me is an important aspect of using Blood Ulta in the first place. So using the overflowing synergy, which is going to increase the heal you get from it, for me seems to be far more important than increased duration and reduced cost. As a tank, we can afford to use health to cast this skill. Especially this patch where we've got kind of 45-50k health in some setups, especially if you're running 7 heavy, you're going to have no problem using this skill. And it's already got a 30 second duration. 30 seconds is a very, very long time. So recasting this once every 30 seconds. So for me personally, the benefits of using Sanguine Ulta for the extended duration and reduced cost don't really seem worth it compared to Overflowing Ulta where you're going to get that much bigger synergy. It can really help in a lot of situations, especially if your group's progressing content. That having that emergency heal is just an amazing thing to have. Now the important part of Blood Ulta that we need to talk about is the Synergy. So the Synergy is a very important aspect of Blood Ulta. So allies in the area can activate the Blood Feast Synergy healing for 65% of their max health. Now this is the important part about Blood Ulta because this is a common misunderstanding about Blood Ulta. This is a group Synergy. This Synergy is available for every single person who meets the requirements for the synergy. So this synergy is available when you are low on health. It is not available to people with higher health. Sometimes the synergy disappears, and that is not because somebody else has used it. 
that is because you've gone above the threshold needed in terms of the amount of health you have. So this is a group synergy. Everybody can use the synergy. There's a lot of groups that will tell people not to use the synergy in Cloud Rest because the tank needs to have the synergy to heal out of the Baneful Mark. This is not the case. You can use this. Everybody can use the synergy. The reason why the synergy disappears during the Baneful Mark for the tank is because they've gone too high in health. So they're no longer able to heal with the Blood Little Synergy because they've gone above that threshold of health required to get the synergy. So that is pretty much the big information that we, I wanted to explain about this skill because it's a very, very common misunderstanding and wrongly spread information as well. So people are then tell other people and that information is spread to more people and now a lot of people have the wrong kind of information about this skill. You also cannot activate your own Blood Altar Synergy. So you will not get the Blood Altar Synergy if you've cast the Blood Altar. As it says there, allies in the area. It doesn't say you and allies. It would say that if you were able to benefit from it as well. So in some cases, you may have two people use Altar so that everybody in the room has the option of getting the Minor Life Steel and the Synergy in situations where that might be needed. Okay guys, so that is everything that I can tell you about Blood Altar. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.